The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Monday morning. Pakibati din ng good morning ang ating mga katabi. Magandang umaga po sa atin. Happy Feast Day of the Guardian Angels. To our online parishioners also, your prayers are with us. Last Friday in my radio program in Radio Veritas, this was my question to the listeners. How, how did you experience the angels in your life o may mga karanasan ba kayo ng naanghelan kayo sa ating mga Pilipino meron tayong ganong mga karanasan we do not attribute this to anything else but the angels and there were many stories that came through texts and some messages in the social media isang story doon na natanggap ko ay father ako totoo yan Angels are real kasi nasunugan po kami. Totoo po pala yun. We experience it in our family. Nasunugan kami and there was this stranger na tinulungan kami. Na yung mga gamit namin, tinulungan kaming mailabas. Hindi namin siya kilala. Hindi naman kilala ng mga kapitbahay. Of course, nagpapanik kami dahil uh, ito ay sunog. Pero ang dami niyang nailabas na gamit. Pero hindi naman humaganakaw, Father. Dahil inilagay lang niya yung mga gamit sa isang uh, lugar. At nandun pa rin naman pakatapos ng sunog. And we have never seen him again. Sabi niya, angel kaya yun, Father? And I said, well, we don't know, but could be. Could be. Another instance, sabi nung uh, isang uh, nag-message sa amin, o sa program ay, Father, yung ano namin, baby namin sa family, minsan, ano siya, uh, may kinakausap siya, no? mag-isa siya, yung baby, at umingiti na tumatawa. Father, angel kaya yung kausap nung baby namin? Sabi ko, eh, who knows? Could be. No? We don't really know. But it could be angels also. Because babies pure as they are, they are able to sense more than us. Pag tumatanda lang naman tayo, tsaka nawawala yung consciousness natin sa angels. Kasi, ano ang mas nagiging prominent sa ating consciousness? Demonyo na. <laughs> Hindi na yung angel. Why do we believe in angels? Some four days after the feast of the archangels, we now go to the guardian angels. Primarily because Jesus himself said so. In our gospel today from Matthew chapter 18 verse 10, the warning of Jesus to us is very clear. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that there are angels in heaven. Always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. Their angels always look upon the face of my Father. Because that is the nature of the angels. They stand before God and behold His glory. 
So angels are ministers of divine care. Sabi po ito ni Pope Benedict XVI. From the beginning of our life, we are assigned an angel to minister to us. Jesus himself, when he was born, who, was, who were there in the manger? Aside from Mary and Joseph and the shepherds. The angel who announced the good news of his birth. And the multitude of angels, Gloria in Excelsis Deo, was their song. In the beginning of Jesus' life, there were the angels. And when he was tempted in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, the devil, Satan, was tempting him to veer away from the plan of God, to bow down, to bow down before Satan after 40 days and nights. And he was so tired. The angel ministered to him. Towards the end of his life here on earth, in the Garden of Gethsemane, when again Jesus was agonizing about his impending death and arrest, it was the angel who was ministering to him. Why do we believe in angels? Because Jesus said so, and because him, Jesus himself has experienced being ministered to by the angels. So in this Mass of the Guardian Angels, we pray, each one of us, we pray to our Guardian Angels. We believe in angels. I don't know about you, but I strongly believe in angels. Not in some romantic sense of angel na may pakpak o angel na lumilipad-lipad sa paligid mong parang paro-paro. No, not angels in the romantic sense of having a devotion of, to, to the angels, but you have the complete set of the angels. Uh, there was one texter also in our program who gave to us the complete names of the angels. No? The seven archangels and the different levels of angels, the principalities, the dominions, the powers, the thrones of heaven, the cherubim, the seraphim. Ang dami nilang alam about angels. Hindi, hindi ko nga alam yung mga yon. But it's okay if you don't know the, the, the angels, their names, or their different, uh, their different levels. It is enough that we know that God loves us. And He gave us an angel to protect us. Angel of God. That's what we teach. That's what we teach the children. Angel of God. My God and dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Meron pong uh, nag-message din sa akin last night. Sabi niya, Father, pray for my daughter. We lost her some eight years ago. Her name is Patricia. And I replied to her, You have an angel in heaven. Your daughter, your son, who has passed on, they become angels in one way or another. They, still be, they are still human beings like us because they couldn't be angels in its pure sense. But they are angels in the sense that they behold the glory of God, the face of God on a daily basis. Not even on a daily basis, but in eternity. They behold God's glory. So the people who have gone ahead of us, in one way or another, they become angels. Yes, they're still human beings because they belong to our human race. But because they are before God, and they, because they are spirit now, the resurrected body, they are angels in more ways than one. So it's also good. I think it's also a good practice to ask prayers from the saints in heaven because they mingle with the angels in heaven. I think it's a good practice also to ask our angels in heaven, our loved ones who have gone ahead of us, to intercede for us and also to pray for us. We believe in the communion of saints. People who are in purgatory and people who have been given eternal life and we who are walking and journeying here in this world, 
we believe in the communion of saints and angels because we all belong to the family of God. So today, I invite you, my dear friends, as we celebrate the memorial of the guardian angels, let us ask the help of our guardian angels. We have not prayed enough to the guardian angels. I think, kaya siguro ang dami-daming nangyayari sa na hindi maganda sa buhay natin kasi hindi na tayo humingi ng tulong sa mga kaibigan natin. God assigned the angel to you. God assigned each one of us a guardian angel to protect us, to help us in our need. Why don't we speak to him or her every day that we wake up or before we sleep, guardian angel, be with me, protect me. As you drive, guardian angel, protect us. Our guardian angel, as you travel, help us reach our destination safely. As you take the board exam, guardian angel, be with me. Bigay mo sa akin yung sagot, guardian angel. So ask, we, I think we need to pray more to the guardian angels. We have not asked their help enough. We neglect them because we think that we can do it. We can hack it on our own. And this is the final point that I wish to share. Guardian angels are assigned to us, not in a romantic or, or in a devotional sense of it. But our guardian angels are assigned to us because they are God's minister of love to us. They are God's representative of His loving presence in our midst, beside us, behind us, in front of us, down below or above. The angel always is with us. So we pray to our guardian angel to always be with us and protect us. This day of the guardian angels, I invite you, pray to your guardian angels. Ask the help of your guardian angels. We have not asked his help enough. It's about time that we always become conscious of his presence or her presence in our life. So angels, uh, they don't have gender. Angels are spirits, and they could be with us anywhere. So ask the intercession and help of our guardian angels. And this month also, the month of the Holy Rosary, let's make it a point to pray the rosary every day. Uh, let's make it our commitment. Dahil nakakadalawang araw pa lang naman tayo, October 2 pa lang ngayon. So kung na-miss ninyo kahapon ang rosary, Dalawang rosary ngayon, no? And then, every day, if you can join us, no? In our rosary here in our parish, we do it before the Mass. It would be good to do that also. Wednesday is the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. If you have pets or any, any animal in your, in, your, uh, in your homes, you can bring them along and let us bless them on the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi this Wednesday. The Lord.